We're now taking on the role of barristers. We are trying to demonstrate the truth of something and we're gonna put out evidence, we're gonna use arguments. The tool that we have is logic, okay? So that would be different to say, scientifically experimenting with this would be taking the properties that we're about to put onto here, right? You can see them written in front of you and we're gonna label them on the diagram. And then just drawing this diagram again and again and experimenting and saying, well, what if this is five centimeters and this is eight? You know, can we demonstrate this? Can we measure it and find an angle? Do it again, do it again and again and again. That's what experimentation means, repeated observation. The, the superpower of mathematics is no instruments, no repetition required. You just do it once and it's true everywhere and forever. Read the question with me because I don't have all the information on my diagram that's on theirs, okay? It starts off by saying uh, KL equals ML. So have a look at where I've labeled everything. Where's KL? It's, uh, yeah, it's this vertical side. Yeah, yeah, Malaysian capital, thank you very much. My parents are from there. Anyway, so KL equals ML. They give us another pair of lengths that are also equal. Which are they? M, wait, which ones? L, M, N, it's this guy over here. And M, P. Is that right? Okay, good. Have I got all the information? Yes? Okay. So here's our stage, right? From here, we can find evidence, we can construct an argument. We're trying to find what x is and prove that it has to be that, not just like, oh, it sort of looks like that, or I think, you know, I did this a couple of times and this is what it came out to be. We're going to prove what it is. Okay. So, let's begin by starting in the shape that we know the most about. Okay, that's a, that's a really good general strategy to go for. The shape we know the most about is this triangle on the left hand side, okay? Because you know some things about its sides, you also know this angle over here, okay? So being that we know this angle, what statement can we make that gets us toward these other angles over here? What statement can we make? Yeah? Um, angle L, K, M, let's all write this down together. Arian suggesting this angle up here is equal to angle, what was it again, Arian? Uh, that one, that one. L, M, K. Now, because prove means you've got to use an argument, right? It's not enough just to say it. Even if it is true, I must provide a reason. What is the reason? There's at least two ways I can say this. Any suggestions, Jacob? I could say this is an isosceles triangle over here, MLK, and uh, sides in an isosceles triangle are equal. That's fine. Okay? However, that's actually a longer way around because I don't know. Nowhere in the question has actually said the words MLK, bless you, is an isosceles triangle. Right? Not to mention, don't draw this, but have a look at this. Here's an isosceles triangle. Right? This angle over here in the bottom right hand corner is clearly not equal to this angle up the top, yeah? So you can't just say any two angles you want, like whichever ones you happen to pick. A better way to say this, and this is what I'm gonna suggest you to write here, is that equal angles are opposite equal sides. Do you remember in the sign rule, how when we draw the triangle, you're like, whoop, here's some information here. You get an angle over here and it's opposite, an angle over here and it's opposite. Well, if the two angles are equal, the sides end up equal as well. Equal angles are opposite, sorry, I missed a word. That's better. Equal sides. Okay, they oppose, they face each other. That's good. What can I do with this? Because now I know these are equal, I'll mark them as such. But how can I use that to further my argument? Yeah, Jennifer. LK and LM are 90 degrees, yes. So because we have this 90 degree here, this 90 degrees is related to these two. They're all in the one triangle, do you agree? What do we know? Think back a couple lessons about the angle sum of a triangle. 180. Now this is really important. We're gonna produce a statement here to argue this. It's about the angle sum of a triangle. So what I wanna put in this next line is a sum of angles, right? So I'm gonna go LKM plus L, M, K, plus K, L, M. 
This is literally the angle sum of the triangle because I've got every single one and I've added them up. That is what an angle sum is after all. It's equal to, what was that size again? 180. Don't forget to put degrees, okay? Just like before, we need a reason. Okay, I'm going to need a bit more space here. My reason is, just like we were just saying, the angle sum of... I'm going to encourage you to um, name the triangle you're talking about, not just because it shows you understand the diagram better. K, L, M. It's actually faster to write than to say a triangle. So that's a bonus. Uh, it's 180 degrees. Please note, I haven't written that some angle is 180 take away something, take away something. That's not a sum, it's a difference, right? So I want my argument to be as watertight as possible. This statement matches this reason in the closest way possible, okay? I know what some of these things are. I just said that these two were equal. What's this one? It's 90 degrees. So on the next line, I'm going to do a substitution that shows all of that, okay? I'm going to say, whoop, wrong color. I'm going to say L, K, M plus L, K, M. You see they're the same angle. I proved that up in this first line. Plus 90 degrees equals 180. Okay, so I've just done a substitution from this into this and this into this. So how many L, K, M's do I have on the left-hand side? Two of them. Two lots of L, K, M. Uh, that's an angle sign. It's an angle sign. It's not a great angle sign. I'll, I'll give you that. Angle sign. If I subtract 90 degrees from both sides, I end up with 90 over here. So what's the size of LKM? I'm dividing both sides by 2, which gives me 45 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to pause for a moment. I have helped you out and held your hand through something like the first half of this proof. Okay. I haven't got to what I'm trying to get to, so I'm going to pause and give you a couple of minutes to put together your argument. Have a look at the information we now know. See how can you, you can use it to get out of this triangle over into this other one. I'll give you a head start and then I'll put my answer on the board. Okay, off you go. <laughs>